Opportunity is a wild word. It's supposed to make you feel hopeful, and it should. But sometimes it can seem like things are just opportunities to fail. And that's pretty scary, right? What really scares me about failing is it seems like the farther you get in life, it seems like it's game over if you fail. You have to get good grades on this, you gotta pass this test. But when you're in college, you get into high school, you gotta do really good, because if you fail that, you're not gonna have a good job. You're not gonna have a good life. The thing that scares me the most about failing is definitely this like fear of judgment and embarrassment. I feel like if I truly fail at something that suddenly it's like everyone's heads are turned towards me and they all know. Well there's always like this possibility that you're never actually gonna succeed and that scares me like what if I just stagnate and don't ever get any better because I am stagnated and I cannot succeed in what I want to do in life and then I never get anywhere in life. That, that scares me. So instead of stressing about failure, let's take it head on. It's like you're driving down the road of life and then, whoa, big rocks could have failed there, but I've kept it together. Oh, we got glass. Oh no, prom, SATs, college applications. I'm gonna lose it. Ah! Yikes. Listen, as stressful as it gets, you are not gonna flip over and explode. That was just part of the skit. Can you fail at stuff? Yeah, doy. But you can also totally succeed or at least learn from it. Don't stress out and stop putting that much pressure on yourself. Hey guys, people don't explode, right? Guys. I grew up wanting to do something big for the world and, you know, change it. But in reality, I've come to realize that it's not necessarily the case. You don't have to change the world by yourself, you know. Changing the world just starts with one person. We all have those moments when we have negative self-talk or we're scared to do something. They're the beliefs that we hold that don't help us move forward. In fact, they hold us back. Everything that punished me as a child, okay, every massive thing that I got in trouble for, are my greatest assets as an adult, period. So, you know, how do you be successful? You work really hard. There's no magic dust to any of this. It's just really, really hard work and like luck, luck, luck. This is a very, very small snapshot of your life. I think the biggest thing I've learned about failing, that the only way to not fail is to just keep trying. I know we've all heard the stupid Edison quote about the light bulb and the thousand times he failed to get the one that worked and blah blah blah. But really it kind of rings true. Usually it doesn't take a thousand times to do everything, but not everything's going to work out on the first time either, and so you just got to keep trying. If I don't get one thing, it's not going to be the end of the world, and I just got to work harder so I can get it next time. How do you do when you screw up? I learned to use failure in a positive way rather than letting it destroy me. So almost every day, I tell myself one thing, survive and thrive. Whatever you're going through in your life, however big that is, changing the world, not changing the world, succeeding or failing, you will survive it. But that shouldn't be enough. Make sure that whatever you're actually surviving, you're learning from, and you're taking that and churning towards being the best version of yourself. That's the thrive. Now it is your turn. Start sharing your comments, jump down there, let us know your thoughts on failure, and uh, we'll see you out there. It's always a good time. I feel fuzzy.